Houseboats, river locks, the big orange and lemons. Lock it in. It's time for the Riverland Football League. Yes, the Flow Friday Night Sports Show. Uh, Big Beaver is, uh, well, we don't know where he's gone. <laughs> he might have headed to the snow. We're not sure. <laughs> Could have headed out to uh, find some new recruits because um, Wakery uh, had a bit of a poor performance a couple of weeks ago, but they didn't this weekend. And so the Beaver, he might just be uh, still celebrating. 11 nine seventy five to Barbara and Monash. one five eleven. They kept the old d- double blues to the ruse down to just one goal for the whole day. Barbara Monash had one goal in mind. Flow man, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Eleven nine one five G. Where's Spensley three? Griega three. Uh, sorry, two. Taylor two. Demon two for Wakery. Braun Big Wood. Taylor Miller. Exton and Housler named in their best. Uh, Frid, the only goal kicker for Barmer Monash. Sullivan, Smith, Butterworth and Munn named in their best. Yeah, and interesting um, with Spensley there, his brother Matt is over playing at South Mildura mm. and uh, he was the best player in their massive win over the OU United Kangas. Uh, that club is going well. Matty Min also from uh, Barmer Monash formerly is also playing for South Mildura. So just a little bit of, uh, I guess, cross um, the, over the two different states and two different leagues in Sunrise to Riverland. Loxon 23, two. Good kicking. 140. 40 to Berry 11 8 74. Have you ever seen a, an A grade side, senior side, uh, kick uh, over 20 goals and just two points? Have you seen that? I no, haven't. I have not. They I haven't. Nine straight in the first quarter, if you don't mind. Uh, Flight, he kicked four of them. Uh, Romeo kicked three. Yeomans, three. Little, three. Pont with two T's, three. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then there was a host of other goal kickers as well that we'll leave alone. Wesley booted five for Berry, and then there was some singles. Wesley, uh, Hawkins, Safford, Ladies. L- <laughs> Him, yep, he was in the best at Langford. And Fisher, Will, Evans, Gutsky, and Romeo again named in their best. Oh, i tell you what, uh, it was uh, brilliant to hear you say Gutsky there, that. Gutsky. Has it Gutsy? Gutsky. Gutsy. 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 He is a gutsy footballer too. <laughs> must be with a name like that. You've just uh, covered him in glory now. He'll never live it down. But what about Renmark covered it in glory with a 1911-125 win over Loxton North? 11 one sixty-seven. I mean, do they Loxton, Loxton North? Do they actually have something in common together? Maybe they actually train together or something. Goal kicking <laughs> training there at Loxton, but there's something in the water there. Uh, at least they're doing they're, whatever it is they're doing. They're doing it straight. Uh, Loxton North. Arnold was straight three times. Martin straight three times as well. Hinchke straight twice. Hinchke. Warsfold. Hample. Voigt named in their best. Renmark. Haynes. Booted four. Zunik booted three. Bonner three. Charlton three. And then a couple of doubles, and yep, we'll leave that alone. The two Wolford boys, T&M, uh, they were named in the best for Renmark. Zunik, Brown, and Agostino. Yeah, they actually have a car dealership in Adelaide, don't That's they? That's right, Agostino <laughs> Motors. I was, I was trying to remember the jingle there for a minute, but yeah, it yep. didn't quite work. Frankie Sampson also in there. He was a good player at Lamaru some seasons ago. Okay, we now move very quickly to round four action. And uh, without having the beaver here to tell us who's going to win and who's not, um, he's probably not here because it's the weekend off in the Riverland. Oh, so. well, there you go, no games. No games. And so, therefore, no game from Beaver. He's just said, he's no, off. Not, 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 no, no games, nothing to talk about with the flow man, and so he's gone. Well, they got an association match, do you think? Like they, actually, uh, they know. have in a couple of weeks, don't they? I think, think, oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, because I reckon you're commentating at it, if I remember. Ah, yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway, we won't go into that, but we'll go to some independent instead, and where it mattered, a low scorer, but your Cobb Dogler boys didn't get the points when Blanchetown Swan Reach, uh, my boys, the Redbacks, beat them 5-7-37 to your Cobby Eagles, 4 10-34. Uh, this was a stunning goal-kicking feast. They needed to go to Loxton to do some goal-kicking training, the Cobby boys. 4-10, that won't get it done. Uh, what about Sedan Cambrai? They were accurate. 11 369 Paringa, 8 53 And, well, Wonka were pretty accurate as well. They had enough shots at it. Yeah, 33-23 to 121. Oh, it's almost Richie Beto, 2-2-1. Two, two, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and over one goal, that four. That didn't work, by well, sorry, yeah. I missed yeah. it. Did I? Yeah. Defree with five. Hey, here's something really interesting. They kicked 33 goals. The leading goal scorer on the day was... Jeffrey with five, Boyle with five, Schultz with five, Wiseman four, Thompson three, Evans three, Schultz, Teal, Teal, Schultz, all booted two. That, that's a pretty big day out for the Wanka boys. The Bulldogs, oh, I don't reckon, have beaten those Bombers ever 
in a margin quite like that, the Bombers really struggling. They are battling at the moment. So, uh, do Riverland Independent play this week, Flamin? What's going on they there? They do, strangely enough. Um, they I'll get a few boys from uh, River Murray uh, to go and prop them up. Yeah. Hopefully Browns will do. They'll need them because they're playing Sedan Cambrai, who will flog them. They will, and Wanka and Cobby, your boys. Oh, no. Now, Cobby actually, uh, I did actually raise the issue about that amazing huge yellow thing that you're wearing, which almost is the Eagles colour that you've got. Do you, do you think about maybe putting that on and running around with Cobby this weekend? Actually, our studio's... Uh, Adorned in uh, Cobby colours, pretty right much. Now, at the isn't moment. It? Yeah, yeah, so uh, I don't think that's going to help them though. Wonka will um, flog them. Will win well. Oh, I think they'll win very well. Ramco should as well. They'll uh, they'll beat your boys, Blanche down Swan Reach. Now, I reckon the BSR. There's a little bit of something funny here. Ricky Lambert, who's the Flow News Twenty Four, um, he's absolutely on everything that's going on. He found their team. They put it up on a piece of paper, handwritten with pencil, the oh. A grade side gold. Yep. Uh, none of this modern stuff of having that uh, software and a board and you know, all of the team movements with magnets. No, out there at Blanche Stand Squad Reach. <laughs> they had about four blokes who they're not sure. They're still down the Blanche Stand Hotel. They're not sure whether they're playing tomorrow. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, good on them. Uh, so there it is. That's independent football in the Riverland and uh, RFL having the week off. So we'll come back to that next week. Hopefully, we'll in between now and then, we'll find Beaver. If you see him out in the street, just let him know. Uh, Beaver, where have you been? <laughs> uh, but that's it for now. We've got plenty of other footy to come here on the Flow Friday Night Sports Show. BVMS Chartered Accountants, a passionate team of local, experienced, professional advisors, ready to help you with all aspects of your business or personal accounting needs. Client-driven and results-focused, from general accounting and audits to self-managed super funds and taxation, and specialising in agriculture clientele with offices in Wakery, Berry, and now in Loxton, plus visiting the Mallee regularly. Contact BVMS Chartered Accountants today and see how they can make things easier for you. BVMS Chartered Accountants. Locals counting on locals. Visit bvms.com.au. Around here, we love our golden grain. And we love our Golden Grain Hotel. Open from 11am seven days a week. And meals available every night. With theme nights four nights a week. Including burgers, pizza, steaks and Thursday nights a schnitzel night. Grab a feed for $15. Affordable for all the family. There's even a kids menu too. Locals or travellers just coming off the highway. Into the main street and find the Golden Grain Hotel. And shearers, farmers and spud farmers order your takeaway meals. Check the website for menus, meal specials, accommodation and upcoming events. Golden Grain Hotel, Pinaroo.com or follow on Facebook. The home of the Mallee Stump. And Ribbon Good Footy, the Mallee Football League. Yes, the Flow Friday Night Sports Show. Three cracks at that. <laughs> we are back. Uh, and, of course, you're listening down there in the Mallee on 96.5 at Pinaroo and Lamaroo, 97.7 as well down there at Tintanara and Canalpin. And our next guest, Flow Man. Right from that area. He is. I uh, was down there myself last weekend listening to the Flow on 97.7 and catching up with this gentleman, uh, Ben Hooper. How are you, mate? Very well, thanks, Chase. Great to meet you last week. Oh, yeah. Good to talk to you too, mate. And I can tell you, Flo, man, yeah. we at halftime had a chat on the Oval. Uh, yep. We'll get to the game in a minute. Mm-hmm. But uh, don't worry about the next generation of uh, BDT players either. A young Hooper, <laughs> yeah. as we're uh, about to start mm-hmm. the interview, mm-hmm. young Hooper in the middle of the ground, free kick out of the ruck, bang! <laughs> From the middle of the ground, straight into the goal umpire. That's a sausage roll. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, gee. D- d- can he kick it further than you, Ben? Oh, probably with ease, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the old Oz kick is it's the main event for those young fellas. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Outstanding. Couldn't oh. believe it. Tell yep. you what, uh, they were outstanding in the seed you gave at BDT at their home deck, a beautiful new club room that Jace got to have a look at. 16703 to Murrayville, 6541. I guess the Bulldogs came over and got um, taken right back down to earth. I mean, right, Brantford, and uh, um, he was uh, okay with a couple. Geordie got a couple, but uh, in the end, they just didn't have, match this young bloke. Tell me about this Ward. He is a star for you blokes. Yes, he uh, certainly is a talent. He's kicked six last week in a losing game and then eight this week. So he's uh, putting his best foot forward, that's for sure. And um, love a young man and, and loves his footy and we wish him all the best. Um, hopefully he continues to do well for us and, um, yeah, and follow on to any pursuits further in his footy. 
I've seen bigger forwards in country football before. I've I've seen uh, forwards kick more goals in games mm. before. But I don't think in my time watching country footy, I've seen a forward that has the whole package like this kid does. Yeah. In the air, on the ground, he was legit. Oof. Don't worry about that. Uh, silky smooth as they'll come. Uh, this game was right on until half time, and then BDT just destroyed them after that. That was pretty much the tale of the tape hoops. It was indeed, yeah. Uh, uh, midfielders got right on top in there, tightened up. Um, we're getting it handed to us early, I think. And then, yeah, Crozer certainly got on top and snuck forward and got a few goals. Stark and McHugh in there, they did really well. Um, McHugh, smooth left footer, he's, he's great in the midfield. And then, uh, hard to believe that your man, Big Paddy Hunter, didn't get in the MFL Team of the Week. Right. I can't believe that. Oh. Who's picking that team? <laughs> Big Brucey, I reckon. <laughs> I have to sort that out. Oh. Hunter was unbelievable. I tell you what, sorting them out um, over at Pinaroo was uh, Moroni. He booted eight in their 15 8 98, went over Lamaroo 5 17 47. Oh, gee, this was a big match at Lamaroo. And at the Rockets uh, listing, and I'm pretty sure he will be, I reckon Pinaroo fired a very big rocket. They did indeed. They certainly stamped their authority on. On the MFL last week, that's for sure. A 50-point win, massive, although equal scoring shots. And I think Willie Werner, he just doesn't want to watch. I think he's, I think he's missed 10 last week. So oh, no. Put him, put him kicking straight, and they, they could, it could have been a much better game. But full credit to Pinaroo. Uh, Maroney, he can go anywhere. He's kicked eight, um, moved out of the midfield to go up forward as they're a bit short. And um, their clearance machine, O'Driscoll, just... Got right on top. Um, bit of a three-horse race at the moment for the medal, I reckon, between the Pinaroo lads, Hyde, Maroney and O'Driscoll just fighting it out. Mm. Couldn't argue with that. Yep, uh, that Maroney is a star at O'Driscoll. Gee whiz, he can do just what he likes and, as well. And so. I reckon that since we got William Werner on the William Werner watch, because we had the Mark Dolling watch a bit yeah, earlier. you stuffed him, mate. I think, I think you've William, done him. He's, he's sort of the flow man's given it to me, and now I've got to, got to go out there and do it. And he's uh, might just uh, leave him off the William Werner watch. I might go into the Maroney watch from here just to, just to give Will a bit of a break. Buy the man a watch. Uh, <laughs> I think that might be the next thing. Uh, Karunda, they had a win, a 7 14 56. Peak and districts, my boys just can't get it done. Five seven thirty seven. Uh, Karunda uh, didn't. I've got to say, I didn't expect this um, in terms of the number of scoring shots, but maybe they're just starting to uh, to lock it together. Um, ironically, with Pake being out, maybe uh, a few of the other boys are extracting the digit. Well, it's it's not very often you win a game of footy without kicking a goal in the first half. So full credit to Karunda for a good fight back in the second half and. It's the it's the old heads with the the real young ones at the moment. So Rudiger and Brown doing a great job, but um, it's their under nineteen players, the Kyan Adams and Elliot Wagner and Tom McKinn, who are doing exceptionally well for them. So, yeah, full credit to Karuna and a bit of few worries for Peak. Um, struck down by injuries pretty heavily, and um, particularly their ruckman potentially out for. A, a bit of time with a, a serious wrist injury, so things just going from bad to worse over there for the boys. Mm, yeah, Clun, the coach, yeah, come down from the hills, and he had high hopes uh, for this uh, squad. But uh, gee, when uh, you got Karinda, I think six boys in that uh, side that are under nineteen. Uh, so uh, it's great to see Mick their and, development. Yeah, oh, Mick and uh, Cat's head hard. That mm. boy, he is hard at it. Tell you what, that name is uh, synonymous with uh, country footy teams up in the uh, Kapunda and other places too. With Big Mark, of course, mm. playing uh, at the Adelaide Crows and West. Adelaide. What about the round five action? Karun to take on BDT, and I tell you what, um, if Brownie's going to start to put some pressure on, he needs to take it to you, BDT boys. And uh, they tell me hoops that uh, you've still got a few players with some injury worries. We we do indeed. We're hoping to get a few back this week. Um, but Karunda at home with their tails up, always a good challenge up there. So our boys will have to get our starts right, and then our midfielders will have to be tight. And uh, I think we can get away with a win. Hoops, I need a candle. I want to put it in the window for uh, Karuna this week because I think you guys are going to touch them up. Um, well, any idea where I might buy a candle from? I'll, I'll get one in the post. Good oh. man. Thank you. <laughs> oh, they've made out of some beautiful wax that uh, comes from yes. uh, Tintinara honey. So, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No doubt about that, that with, from Hooper honey. But uh, tell you what, Hoops, um, the young Ward, uh, is he playing this week for the fans to come and see this kid? Yeah, he is indeed, absolutely. So uh, just recently just announced that he, he will be off to school for the second half of the year in Adelaide. So we'll lose him for a little bit, but um, we also wish him the very best and uh, we'll definitely be 
spurring him on to continue his development. Jeez, I hope Mick gets him. Uh, what a matchup that would be of the young guns. Mm. Uh, mm. That will be interesting to watch. But, uh, yeah, it should be a good game. BDT wins. Yeah, BDT got a lot of young guns too. Uh, yeah. I mean, um, they've uh, brought back into their side uh, some of the kids, uh, like this Manning. Uh, he's a good kid. Mm. Um, you know, so I'm just looking forward. Crows are another one of their kids that's come back. Um, looking forward to seeing how those kids um, match up in the big time. Pinaroo and Murrayville. That is the battle of the border. And Murrayville have recruited well. They've got the big Geordie Franks can he at home light them up at that home deck up there on that little hill and beat Pinaroo? I reckon Pinaroo will get the job done, but Murrayville, to their credit, they were very undermanned when they came down to BDT. They, um, the coach was called in to work early and that threw things off. Uh, I don't believe Raddick played either, so I reckon there were a few out and it, and it threw them off a little bit, so I don't reckon that's a true reflection of last week's 10-goal loss. So they'll be better. It'll be a tighter game, but I still reckon Pinaroo will get across the line. Yep, I seem to agree with you. And the, they've got some talent in their Resi's team as well, Murrayville. Oh, Don't worry about that. You've got a couple yeah. of young kids uh, that are that look the goods. At peak, this is the game that will be broadcast on MFL TV Live. Peak hosting Lamaru, and I would expect the Hawks to get hold of them. Oh, I totally agree. I think uh, their assistant coach, Lamaru's um, Ballarat Hotel, he's pulled them aside. He's given them a bit of goal kicking. They'll be, they'll be up and about, and uh, Denty will be... Have them pumping after that loss. He won't. He won't take it well. So, unfortunately, peak. They might get it handed to him tomorrow because they'll come off a steaming Lamaroo, and uh, yeah, it might be a rollover down there. Oh, it's a big weekend of footy. I, I heard that Denty left uh, the BDT to go over to Lamaroo because Hoops actually um, tried to pay him in honey, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Danny Den- Den- actually said, that, "Mate, I, 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 go to, I go to the dentist every week because all the honey I'm having at the moment." <laughs> is that true? Is that true? Hoops. Oh, he's a tank salesman. He's got plenty of storage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good stuff. Great to have you on board, Hoops. And as always, obviously, Mallee football. Some excitement around the, the corner, and some of the kids coming through the ranks. And we'll uh, look forward to chatting to you next week. Absolutely. Can I just do a bit of a shout out? Um, I missed a couple of two fifth years last week. Last week, so Scooter Curley from Lamaroo. Their current president, um, he played his 258th grade game, so that makes him a Mallee Life member and a tremendous contributor to Lamaroo and uh, Mallee footy. And then also to Daniel Meagher, who played his 250th club game for BDT. Oh, and got well shared done. off the ground, too, as he should. Oh, I tell you, and, and Scooter, he is a, a good mate of mine and uh, absolutely love catching up with him and Jess um, at their electrical and also hardware store in Lamaroo. Good people. Great. Thank you, Hoops. We'll catch you next week. Good on you guys. All the best. BVMS Chartered Accountants, a passionate team of local experienced professional advisors ready to help you with all aspects of your business or personal accounting needs. Client driven and results focused from general accounting and audits to self-managed super funds and taxation and specialising in agriculture clientele with offices in Wakery, Berry, and now in Loxton plus visiting the Mallee regularly. Contact BVMS Chartered Accountants today and see how they can make things easier for you. BVMS Chartered Accountants. Locals counting on locals. Visit bvms.com.au. It's all under one roof at Walter Agencies, your local CRT rural and farm supplier in Lamaru. You'll find Broadacre Chemicals, Sheep and Animal Health, with suitable advice on animal husbandry, even pet foods and supplies, along with hardware supplies from polypipe water tanks and fittings to concrete and poly troughs, plus boots from Blountstone, Rossi, Steel Blue and Boggs Rubber Boots, and the friendly service you always get at Walter Agencies, your local CRT rural and farm supplier in Lamaru, 44 Railway Terrace North, or phone 8576-3311. Southern Contracting Group takes pride in providing the highest quality products and services at competitive prices, covering the Southern Mallee, Mid North, Riverland, Southeast and Western Victoria, from mobile rock crushing and screening to ready mix concrete and bulk and civil earthworks. And the Callington Quarry is now open for quarry products including limestone and bluestone, concrete stone, ballast, rubble, road base, sand, and gabion rock wall. Perfect for contracting or landscaping businesses. Open Monday to Friday, 7 till 5, Saturdays by appointment. Visit southerncontractinggroup.com.au, find them on Facebook or call 08 85 76 3627. T minus 9, 8, 7. Don't miss the new Holland Tractor's great rate countdown at Ronco Motors. From as little as 0.44% on the T4 Series to 0.99% on the T9 Series tractor, we're counting down great tractors with great rates in our end of financial year sale. 
Order your tractor before June 30th and take delivery before December 31st, 2021 and benefit from the government's instant asset write-off tax incentive. Finance to approved ABN holders subject to terms and conditions. Contact Ronco Motors for more information. Ronco Motors, we're here for all your machinery needs. The Southeast, known for its amazing flora, fauna, and footy. Mid Southeast Footy. Yes, the Flow Friday Night Sports Show continues on repeated 8 a.m. till 10 a.m. on Saturday morning frequencies. Uh, if you want to tune in to the Flow mm. uh, down in the Southeast Flow, man, what are you listening oh, to? You've got uh, the wonderful 107.3 at Kingston Robe, uh, which is where you're going to be hearing uh, the Robe Football Club report. Uh, and then obviously yep. over 100.3 and then 99.1 at Keith. And good to have the boys at 90, uh, 97.7 at Meningi and yes. Salt Creek. But hey, somebody knows where those places are. Has travelled that road a few times. Jared Dawson. Hey, Jared, how are you? Good, Wayne. Good, Jason. How are you? Going well, mate. Uh, now, uh, last week's round of A-grade matches, we're going to save your game the best till last, and we'll rattle through some of these scores and see if any of these have surprised you at all. First of all, Port McDonald, 24-18-162. Tantanula, 6 7 A surprise to you or not? No, nah, no surprise there. That was a um, good win by Port Mac. Kalangadu, 27-18-180. Nangwari, 6 one Any surprises there? Um, yeah, this was a bit of a surprise. I thought it might have been a bit bigger margin there, but I think um, Clangadoo might have rested a few players this week. So, um, yeah, that's why it's so close. Fair enough. Good work, Nang Worry. Uh, hats <laughs> off to them. Uh, this one, Hatherley, 17-21, 123. Glencoe, 3624. Any surprises in that result? Um, yeah, that was a bit of a surprise. I didn't think um, Hadley would win by... That great a margin. I thought it might have been more like five or six goals, but yeah, obviously they played well. And Glencoe obviously didn't really show up by the scoreboard. So um, yeah, ninety nine points. Oh, that'd be a long time since oh, that's happened in Glencoe. Glencoe. Yeah, exactly. Robe eleven nineteen eighty five beat Congerong eight nine fifty seven. Any surprise there, Jared? Um, no, we pretty even all day and um, sort of kicked away in the last quarter there. So um, pretty inaccurate with the kicking, but. Yeah, like I said last week, a bit of a danger game for us. But, yeah, we come out and play a good brand of footy and um, come home with a win from Congrom. Yeah, one of those banana peel games. You avoided slipping on it, though. Well done. Dickinson booted four, Dean three. Uh, Dean, Watchell, Williams, Pettit and Sneath named the best for the Robe Roosters. Sandico and Cordy booted two for Congrenong, who put up a good performance. Uh, Cordy, Weistra, Weaver, O'Day and Fleming named in their best, mate. Yes, they were some pretty good players um, in that today's play. But what about the reserve grade for these Aroboroosas? We've been following their progress, and I'll tell you what, they've been a much improved side, particularly this year, and they got up 9-4-58 to Congerong, 7-11-53. Tell us why, Jared. Um, yeah, this is right down the wire all day, obviously. and um, Yeah, just a good brand of footy the boys played, and um, no, no standouts. But, um, yeah, Congerong always got a good reserve side, and um, the boys took it up to them and now sitting 3-1, and one, so... Um, yeah, come to Glencoe this week and um, hopefully get another win on the board for the boys. Sawyer, Emery and Regnier. Mm. I've butchered that. They all got two. Hooper, uh, Burden, Cross and Regnier. Yeah. Butchered that again. Uh, they were named in their best. Uh, Franchito booted three for Congrenong along with Mulan. Yeah, I think you butchered Franchetta with the three goals. Franchetto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, let's go to the, uh, the younger grades, uh, the senior Colts in mid South East and the Robe Roosters. Uh, this was a beauty. 3-6-24 uh, to 3-4-22 and a low scorer. Yeah, low scoring game. Um, and I think the senior Colts coach, Tommy Wachtel, was just pretty happy to get across the line there. And um, I don't think they played a great brand of footy, but you know, got the win, win in the end. I love these kids because their names are easy to say. Robertson, Carter, and Weston kicked the goals for the Roosters. Robertson, Jay. Uh, Keen, Peel and Cornish named their best and I don't mind a Cornish pasty either so. oh, You don't, I tell you what, I was really impressed with the two Macanachi boys uh, who played <laughs> over there for Congerong uh, Very good footballers, the Macanachi boys um, and I bet I've butchered that for you tonight well done. you're going beautifully I'm going beautifully tonight But what about uh, this, it is the final one and it was the juniors and in this game the Robe Rooster boys come up against a good Congerong side who beat them 8-7-1-4 to I didn't get to see this game, but yeah, I think they're obviously just a bit too tall and a bit too big by the sound of it. So um, yeah, the boys struggled a bit on that one. Yeah, McKenney kicked a goal though. Carter Moore, a boundy. McKenney and Moore 
two moors, Seymour and Vmore. Yeah, they just... need more moors. Um, mm. They uh, they were in their best, but Congrenong Richardson four and uh, D Richardson C Richardson. That's all you need to know. I think so. And uh, we get to this week's matches, and it is going to be Glencoe taking on your Robe Roosters, Jared, at the Robe Park. How do you see this going? Um, yeah, hopefully come away with a win. And we've got a um, few in and few out again. Um, but yeah, whoever comes in can sort of fill the spot. Um, yeah, Glencoe won't sort of read too much in the last week's result. I think they'll come out firing and um, yeah, hopefully get a win on home deck. Um, the boys have said they don't lose at home this year, so hopefully we can keep that up and um, yeah, come home with a win. Okay, match of the rounds, Hatherley and Kalangadu. You'd like the both of them to build each other up, basically, and <laughs> come off of that uh, with uh, as many injuries as they possibly can. Hatherley, I reckon, or do you go with the rested Kalangadu? Yeah, I reckon Kalangadu on this one, and um, we've got Kalangadu next week, so yeah. Um yeah, it'd be interesting to see what the result is on this one. He didn't go with my building him up. No, he, no. He avoided it beautifully. You don't, you don't wish injuries <laughs> on anyone, Flavio. No, Port McDonald and Nangwari, it'll be Port McDonald and Tandanula and Mount Burr. Both lower on the table. Maybe Mount Burr just in that game. Jared, do you agree? Yeah, I think Mount Burr will get over that one. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, that's it. It is. That is the Mid South East Footy Report. Thanks for the row, Bruce's, and thank you, Jared Dawson. We look forward to catching up with you next week with more action from Out of Robe. Robe Roosters Football Club proudly acknowledges our major sponsors. We cook at Robe Seafood and Takeaway. You cook from hook and harvest. Our catch, your choice. 21 Victoria Street, Robe. Holiday rental properties for people who appreciate a home away from home. Robe, Kingston, Cape Jaffa and Beachport. Robeholidayrentals.com.au Robe and Districts Community Bank. $450,000 $450,000 returned to our local communities. Great things happen at your local Bendigo Bank. Go the Mighty Roosters. If it's big and it digs, Southeast Excavations in Robe has it and know how to use it. Ask about your next project from subdivisions, road construction, block levelling, supply and install of septic systems, or limestone and sand from their licensed mines. Southeast Excavations have the right equipment and get the job done quickly and professionally. If it's big and it digs, Southeast Excavations Robe has it. Find us at seexcavations.com. The siren sounds and the team at Kevin Wright, Plumber and Gas Fitter are fit and ready for the big plays. Call into the showroom and see their huge range of Onga pumps on display. They're the only choice with an Onga pump for your every need stock water, irrigation, rainwater, submersibles. Be on the winning team with your local trusted Onga pump dealer and service agent, Kevin Wright, Plumber and Gas Fitter, providing expert advice for all your pump needs and plumbing as well. Servicing Kingston and surrounding districts. Phone today, 87672070. In Robe and looking for something to do? Robe Auto and Marine can help. Explore the trails and paddle the lakes with mountain bikes, canoes, paddle boards and kayaks available for hire. Or if you need local advice on fishing, they have qualified staff and a mega tackle shop with heaps of bait, tackle, rods and gear to hire so you can hook the catch of the day. Whether it's a hire for a day or a week, see the friendly, helpful staff at Robe Auto and Marine for your next fun day out. Open seven days. Kingston IGA is your one-stop local shop for all things fresh. From fresh local meat to fruit and veg, plus perfectly cooked chickens and a variety of local fish on offer. Fresh on fishing days, then conveniently available frozen all year, along with SA prawns and oysters. All on offer with IGA's price match guarantee, giving you value for money. Kingston IGA, supporting local and supporting you. Why not pop in today? 32 Holland Street, Kingston. Open seven days. Amy's got the team pumped for another winning season and JB, a pro at cleaning up Mad Mondays. But let's see what the 2021 Crown End team can do. Tommy G pours a schooner. No, wait, it should be a pint. Nice save there by Tin Man, but there's a commotion in the back. Christie's new lunch menu has the punters scrambling. Shay has the orders under control with Alan Kim heading for the wings while Heather adds depth to the back line. It's great team play that earns a smile from Whiskers. Hang on, he's asleep again. They're winners, they're grinners, and supporters of the mighty Kingston Saints. Kingston's legendary Crown Inn Hotel. For vehicle servicing and repairs in Robe, O'Halloran's Diesel and Marine will keep your motor running, car, four-wheel drive or truck. 
your local Repco Authorised Service Centre with fully qualified technicians using only quality parts and the latest diagnostic equipment. From a new vehicle logbook service to maintaining an old reliable workhorse, get peace of mind with Repco's nationwide warranty on parts and service. You'll feel safe on the road with their professional wheel alignment equipment and huge range of tyres, including the top-selling Toyo Open Country. Visit the team today at O'Halloran Diesel and Marine, 56 Robe Street Road. HF Dicker & Son, the name to trust for over 80 years when it comes to transport. Offering daily freight services from Kingston, Robe, Adelaide and Mount Gambia and weekly services from Melbourne. From general and bulk freight to wool, hay and tipper services. Plus, landscaping and garden supplies with soil, sand and concrete for any job around the home, farm, shed or council area, either pickup or delivery. The name to trust for over 80 years. HF Dicker & Son. Call today, 8767 2452. KNT Footy League. Yes, it's the Flow Friday Night Sports Show and a KNT Football. I tell you what, we've got some mail out of KNT through the week. We reckon yep. there is a coach under a little bit of pressure down that way, uh, Flow Man. What have you heard? Oh, I, I've heard that the board may have made some inquiries over at Collingwood because they reckon Buckley's on the slide and, uh, well, they might be able to get him to loosen up because um, the next guest is on the slide, Sammy Gratz. How are you, mate? How are you, mate? He's gone. He doesn't want to know about it. <laughs> How are you, mate? Yeah, good, good. Hey, listen, what uh, what went wrong? Uh, Border Town uh, got hold of you a little bit here. 17, 11, 113, 13, 785. Uh, not enough cattle or poor coaching, mate? No, nah, look, I think um, I was very surprised that their matches have gone the way they've gone. Um, I haven't seen four big blokes like that on the field for a very long time when you look at... Um, right. Tink, um, Whittlesey, Fromm and McCarthy, um, they all played very well. And they're going to stretch some back lines, I think, this year if they all if they all fire. Um, McCarthy was really good leading up and, um, you know, we had we had uh, Sam Williams on him and he thought he did a great job, but when the ball comes in, you know, uh, Hayes was getting first taps from Tink and he was superb coming out of the middle and they, they used the ball well. They... It was a good game to watch. We probably just we're just overusing it a bit at the moment and turning the footy over in crucial spots, and then they take it down and score. But um, I can't believe that. Yeah, like I said to the guys on Saturday, I'm, I'm had a good chat with Clint Dement and Joshy Sell after the game, and I said, "Why haven't you boys won?" And they said, they, "To be honest, they couldn't really give me an answer." So. Mm. I don't know what's been going on. I'll tell you, I reckon I know what um, is at Border Town. It's just starting to click. And uh, I reckon when you bring back Big Harry from, he was up there, I reckon, with Lamaroo. Then you got uh, coming back Clint Dement. He was um, over there at uh, River Murray. And then uh, Kane Cutperson has come back. He's a real troop marshaller, whether he's in the back line or up forward. Kane, uh, the great man there at uh, the wise forward in Border Town. Kane can play. Down at Robe, of course, he was um, for a couple of years. I think that's the reason they're just starting to gel and get it together but great stuff from the border town roosters but this was a big win for mandala 23 19 157 to border districts 4 3 27 and mandala lost the week before to kingston we said that that wouldn't be good to face them the next week sammy and we were right no i know that's an absolute belting but um i don't know what happened there with borders they i mean they put up a pretty good fight at, at lucendale and um i mean you, you look at hinge there kicking seven and wheezy nankerville mcgrass was best the, the boys did it. They obviously got fired up from the week before and it's never nice coming off uh, coming off um, a loss. And I actually did speak to Spanner Hannaford after our game from Borders and he said they've got the unfortunate uh, thing of following everyone that plays Kingston. So oh, no. <laughs> come up against people that might have had a bit of a shellacking, so they might be licking their wounds. But, look, the Borders will keep fighting. They're, they've got a, some good players. They might have had some out on the weekend. Because they they're not that they're not that sort of side. They're not a they're not one hundred and thirty points less than Mandela. So no. hopefully they uh, they regroup and and keep working. Yes, uh, we move on to Kingston now. They made hard work of this against Kirby Bowline. In the end, they kicked away in the last quarter. But uh, thirteen twenty ninety eight to Kirby Bowline six eleven forty seven. Pretty even uh, low scoring contest to half time, and they got away in the end. But uh, not overly convincing this time around, Sammy. No, I mean thirty. What? What is it? Thirty-three sh- scoring shots to seventeen. It's mm. a fair difference, but um, obviously they've been inaccurate in front of goal, which uh, which never helps. Um, 
But I did think they might flex their muscle a bit here. But to Kobe's credit, they haven't been losing by a lot, Kobe. So, I mean, I know they're down the bottom, but um, they're obviously putting up good performances, and their young fellas are doing pretty well, led by Dylan Brody. So, um, they're obviously they're not they're not you know they're not cellar dwellers. That, um, they're going all right. Oh, going all right. Keith Crows are going all right. Fifteen, Ooh. fifteen, one hundred and five. If you don't mind, they burst the bubble down there. The Rory Taggart bubble bubbled at narrow court by beating them six eight forty four. Sammy Gratz, this is an absolute belting, and suddenly the Keith Crows have emerged with Big Ben with seven. They could be the real deal in twenty twenty one. Yes, I think there's been a few. Few sides emerged from this weekend, um, obviously starting to click. I think, and we at the start of the year we probably had a few up there in the top three or four, and you know with new sides, new players coming in, it's probably just taken some sides three or four weeks to gel. Um, and I must admit, last week uh, I might have put a bit of fluff on, a, on my good mate Zach Donnelly's uh, narrow court side. I, I think I was a, had a few beers when I spoke to you, gentlemen, last last week. And, you did. Um, Zach definitely wouldn't uh, pump his own tyres up. He know he keeps himself in track, and I must apologise for uh, for putting that out there last week. He, he gave me a quick phone call in the morning. He wasn't real happy with me. <laughs> but um, he, they, I thought that actually be a bit better than that narrow court. But like you said, I think Keith are a good side, and everyone's just staying the gel. And um, if you if you have an off day against these sides, I think these are going to be the results. You've just got to be uh, you've got to be on your game. They're on their way now, record. It's just going to take a little bit longer, um, but they're around the mark. Uh, Pathway, we know, are right on the money at the moment. 13, 14, 92. Panola, who have just slipped off the pace, 8, 8, 56. Uh, but Pathway, uh, when you've got uh, Big Ford kicking nine goals for you out of 13, you're going okay. You are going okay, but it also worries me a, t- a little bit too, Jase. Uh, I think they did this when they played us. Tobin kicked eight, and they had three goal scorers. So... Mm. I think I said it after that that week. I mean, it's great for Tobin kicking goals, but I'd still be a little bit worried with Pad the way only having three goal kickers when you're kicking 13 in a match and one guy kicks nine because, you know, you put a bit of work into Tobin, which I think if sides haven't worked that out yet, um, you've really got to put a bit of work into that young fella because he, he reads the ball so well. But um, other than him, there doesn't seem to be many avenues to goal. So... Yes, it's good on one hand, but I'll be a little bit worried about on the other. You look at Panola's spread, and they had what half a dozen goal kickers out of eight. So yeah. I think I'd take Panola's goal kickers over over Padway. But Padway is still going well. They're top three, top four, so they're going to be a good side. And um, like we say, Panola's probably had just had dropped off a little bit. So. Mm. Oh, what about what? this week's games? Oh, Jeez. what about this? Uh, Sammy Bordertown and Narracourt. Oh, this is an absolute brick beauty in Bordertown at home again. Oh, I, look, and I, I did. I had jumped on the phone to Zach um, last week, and we just we always have a bit of a chat. And I, I honestly don't know whether there's a back line. These those Border Town boys, they were big boys. They were six four. Um, we had from Whittlesey, like I said earlier. Um, when it comes into their four line, I think Hayes will be out this week. He was uh, really good on baller for him, so that'll probably lose a bit of drive for him. But um, they looked damaging when they went forward quickly, and they play that Border Town over well. They have Big Tink big tank giving them first use, and it's hard to stop when he just puts it in their path. But um, it'll be a really good game up there because they both play big ovals well. Um, that'd be a really 50-50 toss, toss of the coin, that one. I think I'm going to back my demons again because I'm in trouble last week. <laughs> I, I'm, backing, I'm backing the boys from red and blue. Uh, hopefully they bring it home for me. I'll go with the Chooks in that one. Keith and Padthaway talk about match of the round stuff. Gee whiz. Uh, I'm not sure who's going to win this one. I might go with Keith. They're in pretty good nick. I think on the back of uh, what I just said before, I'm, I'm looking at Keith because I think they've got the cattle to probably shut down Tobin. Um, mm. And I just think they've got more avenues to go, so I think I'll back Keith. All right. Kybe Bolite and Border Districts, so this is the old rivals match. This will be at the Kybe home deck. These two sides, uh, uh, this this is going to be the arch rivals. If you can just picture this, two railway sidings as you come out of Narracourt, heading up to uh, the line that goes up yep. to Wolseley. Uh, th- this is going to be on for young and old. Tell us why Kybe Bolite can beat Borders or whether Borders you reckon will beat Kybe. Two weeks ago, I would have backed Borders hands down, but I, I think they are struggle, struggling for a few injuries at the moment, Borders. This time of year always uh, throws up its challenges in country footy. And I think, well, just looking at Kyber, they are young and, um, I mean, they're keen, so I'm, that's going to be my upset this week. I think I'm going to tip Kyber. 
Mm. Okay, fair enough too. All right, your boys, Sammy. You need to bounce back. You're only playing Mandala at Mandala. Should be fairly easy. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, look, I'm still confident the way we're playing footy, the way we're moving it. It was a, like I said last week to the boys, it was a, it was a good game last week. There was nothing to get down about. You, sometimes you win them, sometimes you lose them. But mm. um, I'm heading to footy with uh, with our game day secretary Shane McGurk. He wanted me to give him a bit of plug tonight, so mm. I've given you a plug, Wiz. He's very confident in our abilities, and he's going to give me a few tips on the way up there. He thinks he can help me with my speeches, pump up the boys. So I'm tipping. I'm backing us in. I think we've got we've got it going. Oh, okay. Shane McGurk, was that the text that we got here at the station about the Buckley and the possible replacement of the coach? <laughs> Probably the one. He wants me added. He wants me added. I don't know. Um, all I know is it was signed off for uh, uh, S. McGurk. That's yeah, all I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah must yeah. be a different one. Yeah. Kingston and Panola are uh, playing at Kingston. I reckon get over there and win this match. Warner in great form for them right now. And their forward line is potent. Uh, I can see them winning this game by plenty, and they haven't done that over Panola probably since the old uh, Cooper days back down there in 2005. That's right. They're scratching off a few milestones down there at Kingston. They haven't done a, a lot of these things for a long time. And, I mean, it's, like I said, it's great for the league that these clubs are coming back and, and you know, kicking these scores. It's, it's you know, it gets sort of a bit bland with the same same teams up the top. So I think um, they'll go down there and they'll have a pretty good win. Um, obviously, if they kick straight, that'll be dependent on the score. But, um, they have, once again, they've got some big boys forward too and they've got plenty of avenues through goal. So... Um, I think they'll uh, they'll go down there and come home pretty happy. Saints for me as well, mate. So Sammy, all the best to you for this weekend at the Swamp. Go Lucendale. Good luck. We'll catch up with you next week. Thank you, gentlemen. Border Town Pumps and Refrigeration, servicing Border Town and surrounding areas for nearly 30 years. And the team takes pride in being able to assist you with all your plumbing, irrigation and garden needs. From fittings, hoses and pipes to swimming pool supplies, water testing and ammunition supplies. Call into their new showroom and see on display pumps from Grunfoss, Davy, Onger and Southern Cross. Drop in and see Border Town Pumps and Refrigeration's huge new location. 57 McClellan Road in the Border Town Industrial Estate. Phone 8752 1959. Oh, wasn't my fault. It came out of nowhere. Oh, no. Just my luck. See that sign back there? It says Low Bridge. Whatever the reason for your car, truck, motorbike, tractor, or even caravan accident, Ferguson Paint and Panel will fix it. Private or insurance repairs, no questions, no fuss. Ferguson Paint and Panel, Bordertown Industrial Estate, or fergusonpp.com.au. The Miran Brothers, in conjunction with Irrigation Industries at Key, is a family-owned business providing irrigation solutions to Tadiara and Limestone Coast farmers. Supported by Valley, the world's largest pivot manufacturer and producer of old Ultimate Polyline Pivot. They're also the largest turbine pump manufacturer in South Australia with the ability to match pumps to limestone coast conditions. Improve your water efficiencies by phoning the Mirren Brothers and Irrigation Industries on 8755 1968. That's 8755 1968. Deb. Oh, wow, Joe! your place is so warm. Yes, I know. We gave Peter a call at Kingston Electrical and Renovator Centre. He installed roller shutters and zip track blinds. Great to warm our home in winter and keep cool in summer. And just look at your new combustion heater. Deb, it keeps our home so warm. It's a Regency fire. You can get them inbuilt or freestanding. Oh, and I love your new curtains. They have blinds and curtains, even carpets and floor rugs. And we colour matched a new toaster and kettle set with the decor. Joe, can we rain check the coffee? I'm off to check out a new floor rug. Well, wait for me. I want to check out the new range of bedroom suites and mattresses. Kingston Electrical and Renovator Centre, 33 Agnes Street, Kingston, South East. At O'Connor's, our people are here to provide the equipment, technology and support for you to keep doing things better. When it comes to your sewing operation, we're currently doing early order deals on quality tillage brands. Brands including Horsch, FlexiCoil and Horwood Bagshaw. Prepare early for 2022 with O'Connors and benefit from early order deals. To learn more, visit our website or talk to your dealership today. O'Connors, keep growing. Whatever your make or model, book in with Bridgestone Service Centre Tintinara for tyres and batteries. Tyres for trucks, tractors, machinery, 4x4 and passenger vehicles from the best brands.
Bridgestone, Firestone, Supercat, Michelin, BF Goodrich and Maxis. Experience gold standard service with repairs to keep your agricultural machinery moving. And ask about unbeatable prices on Exide batteries. Whatever your make or model, book in with Bridgestone Service Centre Tintinara on the Dukes Highway. Or phone 8757 2033. The River Murray. Unstoppable. Just like the footy. River Murray Football. It's the Flow Friday Night Sports Show. We're about to burst through the finish line, but first, River Murray Football. Big Bruce is on the line. Bruce, what sort of week has it been, mate? Oh, what a big week in River Murray Football. One of the biggest weeks you've ever seen. And it was a big week because there were some big goals kicked last week. And they were just big everywhere. They were that big that Johnny Boris, he bought a few holes right in that Rambler's defence. He smashed on 12 goals. And what about the performance by uh, Josh Scott from Jervois? He thought, anything you can do, I can do just as good. And he smashed home eight goals. So some big goals kicked. And you can see those leading goal kickers are from the top three sides. It's pretty ironic. I don't think you'd see that happen too many times. No. Your top three t- goal kickers are the top three sides, boys. Yeah, yeah. well, it's Imperials are just back to their best, and Ramblers uh, were just uh, woeful, really, in this game uh, to kick just the seven goals against their old uh, Main Street rival there in Bridge Street, Murray Bridge. It was, uh, as you said, a big score 29 9, 183 to 7 7 49. Boris with 12, Montgomery 4 for the winners, and Schubert with 3 for Ramblers. But the match, Bruce, that we'll go to now, and that is the one that was the battle of the Ferry instead of the bridge, and it was Jervois beating Taylor Ben 14 20, 104 to 10 8 68. And Jervois have shown that they are going to be a top side again after taking the premiership last year. Oh, well, Jason, there's been sending me texts this week saying I'm sacked. I've oh. got the first tip wrong. Oh. Yep, yes. done. Out. Oh, he's been on Taylor all year, hasn't he? But he's been he done has. here. He has been done. His old boys, the Bloods, too good. And, yep, mine uh, too. Yep, man, again, Scott, he was the difference between the two sides, uh, Brucey. Oh, look, he smashed home eight goals and a terrific performance. And, uh, look, uh, they're right on the, on the mark, aren't they? They've uh, inflicted Tail and Ben's first loss. Look, is it the loss they needed to have? Maybe they were getting a little bit ahead of themselves. But, uh, look, uh, nevertheless, a good win for Jervois over on the Tail and Ben Dunghill and... Uh, Look, uh, Tail and Ben, look, they'll regroup. They've uh, had a couple out, but uh, so did Jervois. But it was a good win for Jervois over there. And, uh, look, it really does uh, keep some excitement in the competition and uh, sees Tail and Ben and Imperials and Jervois in that top three. But it was, uh, look, just not many goal kickers uh, dominated for Tail and Ben. That was their problem. As we said, Scott with eight best players were Zadie, Franks and Hanson for Tail and for the victors, Tommy Klasky. Josh Scott and Pope isn't Klasky having a good season. Early in the year, I know, but uh, this result that we're about to talk about next saw the Tigers of my Polonga just start to make plans for September. They won't be playing footy. Uh, Madam 17-9-1-11, my Polonga 7 6 48. Yeah, good win here to uh, Madam. Uh, I mean, it was expected, wasn't it? Pro- probably the uh, the margin was just a little bit more than they were anticipating. But a great win here to Manham. And uh, look, my Polonga just haven't got any goal kickers up there, have they? For Manham, Rubens kicked five. Russo, their big import, kicked four. Lounce, a young fella, kicked four as well. And a great game for him, his best. And uh, the best four Manham were Huard, Rubens, Horseman, Walls for Maipo. It was the Gotch brothers, Lachlan and Regan, and Stegmeyer was third best for Maipo. But a good win for Manham which sets them up to keep in touch with that top three. Now, Bruce, uh, it is uh, the River Murray Indigenous round, and I know that uh, the uh, Murray Lands Football and Netball and Sporting Results page has got a great article that you are a co-author of of some of the greats of uh, the Indigenous community that have contributed to River Murray over the years, and I uh, have uh, put a little comment there about one of my schoolmates, Jimmy Rankin, who was an absolute gun at the age of 18 taking the 1981 male medal for the Jervois Footy Club, but Bruce, it's going to be fantastic for this round because Jervois do have the bye but uh, other matches, Imperials take on might be longer. Oh look, Imperials should get the job done pretty comfortably, shouldn't they? They've got Josh Scott up there just building on the goals every, uh, Johnny Boris rather building the goals every week uh, they will miss Luke Harrifield out of the side but it won't make a lot of difference Look, they've got some really good players 
Maipo are just uh, just struggling for the, uh, the experience, aren't they? And uh, really rebuilding, as uh, Jason said, they'll be uh, organising something different come uh, finals time. And uh, look, uh, Imperial should run out victors here, Wayne, 51 to 60. They just are very good and they'll exploit that uh, tomorrow over the Tigers. It will be much closer at La Measure, where Ramblers, the home side, will take on Manham. And I don't know who's going to win this one, Brucey. Oh, Manham, I reckon. I reckon it's probably the match of the day, guys. Mm. Who would have thought? Because uh, Ramblers aren't really travelling that well. Look, you'd put your money on Manham. There's no doubt about that. Look, they've got some pretty handy players. O'Malley's out, they tell me. So that'll uh, just even it up a little bit. But, gee, you've got the likes of... Uh, uh, Tommy Russo and, uh, um, you know, there's some other players there that are in good nick like Keller. And uh, when you're throwing some of these young lads, uh, Huard and Horseman and uh, these sort of lads, they really are Maloney in good uh, mm. t- for the next few years, the uh, the ruse. For Madam, uh, I think they can get the job done over Ramblers. Ramblers are in a little bit of a rebuilding spot as well, but they've got some good young lads coming through there in the likes of Wilson, Walker, and Trevorrow, but Madam for me, boys. Oh, yes, those boys. You mentioned a couple of the Indigenous lads there yes. too. Uh, Meningi uh, comes to mind, and the next game is Taylor and Meningi. And, gee, the great names like Kakulmatri and Katinuri. Oh, they've had some Rankins in there too, Bruce. Taylor and Ben Pay Meningi. Oh, look, should be a great game. Uh, look, uh, of course, the Indigenous round. And just on that Indigenous uh, article there on the Murrayland Football and Netball Sporting Results page. Uh, look, there's been some great players over the years and uh, I won't take all the accolades for that article. Also contributed well by Mark Kulmatri from Meningi and Laurie Rankin, who was an absolute gun before he got a bad knee injury. But uh, look, a couple of blokes that really did put a lot of work into that. Uh, you know, the yesteryear ones and... Uh, you know, going back to the Rigneys and the Catenaries. But, look, I think overall the best of them has probably been... Uh, uh, I think probably Mervyn Catenary would have to probably be up on the on top shelf. He, he's just a, you know, he's just a class for many, many years. He's just kept a level for many, many years. What, uh, three male medals I think he's got. He's just been... Uh, and, a, and a reserves male medal. He's just been class. And, of course, a premiership last year over there in the Great Southern with Langons Creek. He is just a, a real gun. Jimmy Rankin, as you said, Wayne, uh, he probably up there in the top uh, four or five. They really have had some guns. You know, the likes of Billy Wilson and Noel Hartman. Um, yeah. You know, there's a yesteryear, too, of the likes of Laurie Rankin and uh, some of the Carpenies and uh, Golans and Rigneys. They've just been great players over many years. But, look, this one will be a ripper at Talem. I think Talem Bender will get the chocolates pretty easily over Meningi. Uh, really in a rebuild stage, uh, stage Meningi. Talem, too many winners. West off and, of course, up forward. I think Smelt can, what, he kicked 14 in that first round against Meningi. Whether he can kick that many again, that remains to be seen. But Talem Ben should get the job done in this Indigenous round over Meningi by 61 to 70. Good on you, Brucey. Uh, enjoy the footy this week, mate, and uh, we'll catch up with you again next week. We will see you next week, boys. We're not getting any younger, you know. So in the end, the decision to get the caravan we've always wanted wasn't hard to make. We're glad we visited Murray Bridge Caravan and Outdoor Centre first. Their exclusive range of new Willow and Montana vans, quality used vans and pop tops is outstanding. You can grab parts, accessories and equipment or for service and maintenance, there's a qualified technician on site. Check them out. Murray Bridge Caravan and Outdoor Centre, right by the lights at 100 Morris Road. More than just a caravan centre. The Flow FM Friday Night Sports Show with Jason the Flow Man. Oh, she's going to be a ripper. Friday nights and repeated Saturday mornings 8 till 10. So let's get to it. Yes, we are getting to it right here on the Friday Night Sports Show and uh, no doubt about it, Jason, uh, it's been an absolute belter of a program. Uh, Really looking forward to the weekend and seeing these scores come through. I am as well, mate. A huge weekend in football. Uh, A couple of competitions having a spell. A well-earned break. Uh, Many going on, though. Good luck to everyone 
having a kick and a catch this weekend. Good luck to all of the netballers out there as well. And uh, here's hoping the Crows don't get flogged on Sunday, Flo, man. <laughs> oh, looking forward to being back with the Sports Fix from Monday through to Thursday at 5 o'clock with Clayton Bester. And have a great weekend wherever you are in country football, listening to us right here across the Flow FM radio network and on our podcast, wherever you get your podcast from for tonight's programs. You can download those and have a listen to them. We'll catch you next week.